Um, right, in today's video we're going to learn how to draw the Australian flag. So I'm going to go ahead and use a sharpie, but you can use a pencil, turn your paper sideways, and then draw two lines for the flag pole, and a circle or an oval for the top of the flag pole. And then we're going to draw two simple lines for the top and the bottom of the flag and connect with a straight line on the right. Now on the Australian flag, just like the United States flag, in the top or left corner we're going to have a different pattern than we see on the So I'm going to do this with pencil, it might be a little bit hard to see, but you're going to go ahead and divide your flag by drawing a rectangle in the upper left corner. Now I'm going to draw directly in a red marker and we're going to start off by drawing a plus sign. Now you want this to be pretty thick, so go ahead and take as much time as you need to go ahead and make that thick. If you ever need to pause the video, go ahead. Now we're going to draw an X behind this, but the red doesn't touch anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a line on the upper left, but notice that I don't touch the plus sign. I leave a little bit of space. And then instead of just drawing the, all the way through on the other side, I'm good. This one, this one is a little bit on the bottom. This one is going to be a little bit on the top. They're just slightly offset. Now we're going to do the same thing going the other way. So we're going to start kind of on the top for this one. And then instead of going through, I'm going to come to the bottom and draw it on the bottom on the bottom left. Okay? So I've got my X. Now I'm going to take my blue marker and I'm going to basically draw triangles or letter V's so that the blue does not touch the red. So I'm going to draw a straight line and an angled line and I've got a triangle right there so I can go ahead and fill that in. And then I'm going to follow this right here and then straight across, create a triangle, not letting the blue touch the red, and then fill that in. And then I'm going to continue making these triangles on each part of the flag. So take as much time as you need. Again, you can pause the video if you need to. Okay, so now once you're done with the top left corner of the flag, we're gonna move on to the bottom left of the flag. Now down here we're gonna have a six-pointed star, and each of the points of the star represent the six states of Australia. To draw a six-pointed star, we wanna draw three points on the top and three on the bottom. So we're gonna start off with a mountain, and then two straight lines out, and then angle it back in. Now that looks kind of like a crown, we're going to flip it onto the bottom. So two angled lines out, two straight lines, and a letter B. So that's our six-pointed star. Now over here we're going to have five stars, and each one is going to have a different number of points on it. We're going to start off with the smallest star, um, which is kind of uh, in the middle, and it's going to be five points. So kind of like the normal star that you see. So draw small and start off with a uh, mountain and two straight lines out, just like we did on this other star, and angle it in, so we've got our crown on top. Now the difference is gonna be, there's just gonna be two points on the bottom. So one, two. Okay, that's our five-pointed star. Now right above that, um, a little bit to the right, is gonna be a six-pointed star, which is gonna be the same as this one. So we're gonna go ahead and draw the crown on top, and then flip it over and draw the crown on the bottom. All right, now as we draw these stars, they should be getting slightly bigger each time. So we're gonna go up towards the top, and this is gonna be a seven-pointed star. So it's gonna have a crown on the top with three points. Now the difference is the bottom's gonna have four points. So two on the bottom left and two on the bottom right to make a seven-pointed star. So, so, so now we have one that's five points, six points, seven points. Now we're gonna come right here and fill this area in. Don't worry, the, the stars can start to get a little bit larger and this is gonna be an eight-pointed star. So for this, we're gonna draw um, a point out to the left and out to the right. And then we're gonna draw a crown on top with three points and a crown on bottom with three points. And that gives us eight points. Now the last star we're gonna draw is gonna fill this area down here. It can be pretty big and it's gonna have nine points. So we're gonna draw, um, just like with the last one, we're gonna draw two points on the outsides, draw a crown on top that has three points, but on the bottom we need four points. So we're gonna draw two to the left and two to the right. All right, after you've drawn all of your stars, then the stars are going to stay white, but the remainder of the flag is going to be 
glue. So you're going to go ahead and use whatever material you have and start filling that in with glue. Go ahead and take your time. All right, so once you're done with your flag, um, you can go ahead and add any details you want. Maybe you want to add a sky or a background behind it. Maybe add a little bit of shading on your flag pole. 